Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. These questions are all about condoms. All right, first question. If my sexual partner and I are exclusive, and we have only ever had sex with each other, do we still need STI tests and use of protection such as condoms? Okay, so I'm going to start with if your sexual partner and you are exclusive, but you've had previous partners. In that situation, if you've both tested negative for sexually transmitted infections, the likelihood that you're going to get an infection is low, unless someone in that partnership um, were to have relations with someone else. The only thing, keep in mind, as a teenager, HPV is not tested. It's only tested for females once they get older, um, but it's not tested in males. And so HPV can still be passed between sexual partners and you might not know it because you don't really get tested for it. Um, now, honestly, if you have never had any sort of sexual interaction with someone else, um, including oral sex, anal sex, um, vaginal, penile sex, um, then the chance of getting an STI is going to be none. But again, you'd have to trust that partner um, and their history. Keeping in mind also that oral sex does count and you can get and spread oral herpes to the private area. So um, that would be one thing to think about. But honestly, the risk is going to be none. This is a great opportunity though to talk about the HPV vaccine. It is wonderful protection against HPV, especially the strains that cause cervical cancer and genital warts. So get those vaccines. All right, second question. My boyfriend and I were having safe sex, but the condom broke and he didn't end up finishing and I'm five days late should I be concerned? So, yeah, um, good job for trying to use a condom, but if the condom breaks, there is a chance that pre-cum or pre-ejaculate can get out, and that pre-ejaculate may contain sperm, which could cause pregnancy. So, generally, it's, it's going to be up to you, but um, it would not be ill-advised any time a condom breaks to consider emergency contraception or uh, plan B. Now this is also a great opportunity to talk about birth control and birth control could be a good backup um, although it doesn't provide that barrier protection of a condom but being on birth control could provide a little extra peace of mind in these situations so it's worth considering. All right question number three can someone get pregnant if they use a condom having sex? And is there a need to take birth control pills? So there is a possibility um, of pregnancy when someone uses a condom. Now that those situations would be again if the condom breaks or if there is leakage of the fluid and whether that is if the condom slips off um, during or after intercourse and that fluid kind of leaks into the vagina or when the person is removing the penis and the condom slips off which is why when you remove the penis after intercourse you want to hold the base of the condom on the penis and pull out because sometimes that condom can get stuck in the vagina and that's when leakage of fluids can happen so yes it's possible but if the condom is used 100% correctly and there's no leakage, then that's wonderful um, and it's a great way to prevent pregnancy and STIs, but it's not 100% and accidents do happen. So is there a need for birth control? No, that's a personal choice, but um, would birth control be beneficial? Absolutely. Question number four, what are the chances of pregnancy if you use a condom and pull out? So combining those two methods is actually pretty darn great. Um, pregnancy chances are about 4%, which makes them 96% effective, which is 
Wonderful. Question number five. If I nut an hour before sex and put a condom on, could I still get a girl pregnant? What a great effort. Um, yes, you can still get a girl pregnant. Um, but so masturbating before having sex can reduce the amount of semen or fluid that comes out, but there will still be sperm when you ejaculate with a partner. Now using a condom is a great preventive measure. And if you have a little less fluid, then there's less of that fluid to leak out of a condom. So use the condom appropriately. And if you want to nut or masturbate before having sex, that's fine. It's not going to change the risk of pregnancy due to your semen being present, but it will potentially reduce the amount of semen fluid and might help a little bit. It's worth a shot. All right, and I'm actually gonna do a sixth question. Are condoms necessary for anal sex? Yeah, when it comes to anal sex, condoms are necessary in preventing the spread of sexually transmitted infections. So in that sense, yes, they are necessary. And if this is anal sex with someone with a vagina, there is a possibility that ejaculation into the anus can cause fluid to leak out and get to the vagina. So a um, couple of reasons why using a condom, uh, whether with a male partner or a female partner, is beneficial. So that's uh, round one of condom questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.